Yes, we're getting uh, you to do a very special thing for us, the commando, Mr. Commando, <laughs> the, what do I call you, Steve, the commando. I'll well, call you the well, commando. You know, the, the context in which we're uh, about to uh, fly, <laughs> I think Steve is... Um, Steve. Yeah. Steve is maybe a, a little softer. Or okay, daddy, good. maybe yeah. daddy. Daddy? Yeah. All right, you can call me daddy. Oh, gosh, there it is. It's not weird. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, we're, get, we're going to get Daddy to read us a story now. <laughs> Hang so on to that bit of audio it. for a while, I'll tell you that. He said it. <laughs> and we have chosen for Daddy to read today oh. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl, uh, a famous book um, dear to many of us uh, as growing up and still to this very day a very popular book in my household and in Daddy's as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm just going to sit down in front of you and have this story and enjoy and it. Yeah, hey, everyone and gather around. We're, gonna, we're filming this as well, so we can go and check out this to our heart's content. I'll be replaying this to my daughters and my son later. On, uh, well, you today. won't have to read the book. Oh, well, right, everybody, take a spot on the floor, please, everybody. The commando's about to read a story. Okay. Everyone take a little sit down. There we oh, go. Gather around, gather around. All right, all right, whenever you're ready, here we go. Okay. A story from the commando. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a <laughs> tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food, as I do. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. Oh. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. He's a guts. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. And on Saturday... <laughs> He ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice, slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, believe it or not, he had a stomach ache. Oh. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Now go to sleep. <laughs> there he is! Random applause for the commando oh. with the very hungry caterpillar. No,